I, you know, I, I think working working in the desert um, has helped to uh, to hone my eye to the quality of light because there's natural light phenomena that happens every single day throughout the day, uh, and all that's required of you is to stop and to look at it. And so I I take the time to to look at those experiences to go out hiking, driving, walking out into the middle of the desert to be immersed in those experiences. Um, and you know, I think that my, my eye and my artistic and design sense were honed through those experiences combined with you know, the amazing inventory of mid-century modern architecture that's there, the kind of uh, design uh, renaissance that's happening in Palm Springs right now as well. Um, so, you know, honestly, when I when I arrived, I, I, I back in the desert in, in late 2000, I, I didn't know necessarily who I was. I just knew that I I had a few ideas, and I wanted to start making in a place that I cared about. And a lot of my initial opportunities were in architecture, and that's that's how I started in the desert. I started a small architecture office, but I got a, a few quick large jobs, um, designing a 27,000 square foot building for our church with a gymnasium and classrooms and so forth and a, eventually a big homeless shelter in Indio. And, um, but I was always making sculpture and work on the side. The architecture was sort of supporting the art in a way. And you know, it was through there that I really began to be focused in on light and shadow. And you know that was via those changing mountain ranges, the little San Bernardinos, the Santa Sintos, the Santa Rosas that's, that surround the desert. You know that those those mountains change from a a flat silhouette, monochromatic silhouette, to a, a highly three-dimensional textured surface over the course of an afternoon. And you know I began to be aware of these things and wanted to incorporate those things into my work, and that's when those ideas and those thoughts started to coalesce a bit more.